Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today, get ready for a chit chat. Yeah. <laughs> so for today's video, I just want to share some things with you guys, you know, what's going on with my hair. And it's also wash day, so I figured, why not just sit down and chat with you guys while I apply my clay mask. If you're new here, I already have a video on how I mix my bentonite and Russell clay mask. I owe the softness of my hair all to clay washes. And it all started with trying out the maximum hydration method some long, long time ago. And I realized that the clay was really working on tightening my curls, my, my waves. <laughs> and uh, after that, I just fell in love. However, I was warned that using clay a little too much can be harmful to your hair. So I kind of backed off from it a little bit and I started using shampoos a lot more often. Now, I found shampoos that work for my hair and leave my hair like soft and you know, I can detangle with it and all that. However, none compare to my clay mask. So yeah. Before I continue, the first thing I want to do is just to section off my hair in fours so I can start applying my clay wash, okay? Times are ticking, wash day has started now. Okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna start with this section around the back hair and I'm gonna wet it with my aloe vera, remember aloe vera? <laughs> my vinegar and water mix. So, I do know that some people use vinegar alone to clean their hair, but that doesn't work for me and it just has never worked for me, okay? Because when I apply this mixture to my hair and my scalp, when I go back and look at my scalp, it still looks dirty to me, alright? So, <laughs> um, I'm not saying it doesn't do something, I'm just saying the difference and the cleaning power is not visible enough for me to say that I'm gonna use vinegar alone to clean my hair, all right? No. Yeah, we're nice and wet. And So I had a period in time where I stopped using bentonite clay for about three or four months while I was trying to find a shampoo that worked for me. So anyways, when I was doing my restyle in December, and when I had got to day number five, when I was doing my wash and go, when I was editing, I did realize that my hair looked a bit frizzy. There was nothing wrong with how my hair felt. My hair was soft and feeling pretty normal. But when I stopped to observe how my hair looked during December, when I was not using bentonite clay that often any at all compared to when I was using bentonite clay in a previous video long before that one um, the difference in the frizziness of my hair is very apparent so I have observed without a doubt that when I stop using bentonite clay for a long period of time my hair goes back to that um, frizzy, straightish texture that I had when I first big chopped before I ever started using bentonite clay ever in my hair. In a way I was expecting that. I did not expect the effects of bentonite clay to be permanent on my hair. So in the past, I was using clay washes every single week because there was nothing else that I could find to leave my hair soft that was cleansing as well. But now, I'm using clay washes every three weeks or so because I want to keep up that um, look that the bentonite clay and the russell clay gives my hair. I always make sure to finger detangle after applying the clay wash. Ooh, the next thing, the color in my hair. This is the first time I'm trying my clay mask on my hair since I have gone red. Um, so I'm very curious to find out how much will the clay mixture strip the color out of my hair. But just in case, I have my rinse right on hand, ready to go um, after I rinse this out. 
I did have a subscriber. Hold on, let me spray this. I'm still on the first section. I can't, I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> I did have a subscriber tell me that using russet clay is a lot more gentler on your colored hair than using bentonite clay. Um, so, oh my god, that itch me good. <laughs> Remember, I'm cleaning my hair with the clay wash, so I have to make sure that I get it on my scalp. Okay, <laughs> back to my subscribers' wise words of advice. So, yeah, she was telling me that Rosa Clay will be gentler on the color, my colored hair. So, with this mix, I have a lot more Rosa Clay than Bentonite Clay in my mixture. But really and truly, I should have tried just using Rosa Clay alone, but I have a lot of Bentonite Clay sitting on my shelf. So, I can't just make it sit down there, okay? So that brings me to my dilemma. I've told you guys why I don't want to stop using clay mask on my hair. I've told you guys why I want to use it more often, every three weeks. But if I'm gonna be using clay mask every three weeks and there's a possibility of it stripping my hair every three weeks, am I going to have to be recoloring my hair every three weeks? Yeah, I don't I don't know how I like that idea. It sounds uh, sounds tedious, okay? And uh, y'all know I like to keep my wash days very simple. So adding color to my hair every three weeks just seems seems like too much, okay? So right before filming this video, right? I was there thinking and mixing up my clay mask. And then I look over on my shelf and I saw that I still had my henna powder. I had told you guys before that that is how I had intended to get the red in my hair, but honestly, y'all were just scaring the shit out of me about henna. Y'all really scared me with that whole thing about henna being really hard to rinse out of the hair. And even the instructions on the container was saying that the henna is like a barrier over the hair and it's not easily washed out of the hair and to really get it out you have to use like I don't want to misquote the package but I'm pretty sure it did say something about dishwashing liquid all right I could be wrong <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that's what I read on the label and I already threw away the label so I can't find it back to Confirm, but my memory says that is dishwashing liquid. You're supposed to use to rinse it out So I was there thinking if it's really hard to rinse out and it's more of a coating on the hair Can I then use henna to seal in the color in my hair? And because I'm someone that acts on impulse, and if I sit down there too long and think about it, I might not actually do it, I mix my hen up. <laughs> and I have it sitting down here for about an hour now, so it won't be ready until I've read, what, 8 to 12, possibly 24 hours would be best to leave it sitting there, but I'm going to be using it tomorrow. So I'm gonna give it about 12 hours to sit down there and let the dye release. Now I am not trying to use it for its dye necessarily, but if it gives my hair an extra boost in color, I mean, psh, who loses really? Who loses? <laughs> so yeah guys, I'm gonna be using henna. Ooh, we're reaching massaging part. Oh, I love massaging my scalp. <laughs> I just 
YouTube picture post showing the henna. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some of you guys are showing excitement for me using the henna. I was asked if uh, I will be filming it. Yes, I will be filming it. Um, Denisha, didn't you just chemically die? I might have waited a few weeks first. Um, oh, next comment about the chemical dye. Um, it might not work well with chemical dye. Um, with the chemical in your hair, it's risky. Um, okay. All right. <laughs> so should I be rethinking using this henna? Um, after coloring my hair, I guess in my head, henna is supposed to be like a natural, holistic treatment. So. Why would it be bad to use in my hair after chemically treating? Um, I guess the question I want to ask, do people with relaxed hair use henna? Can they use henna? Because their hair is chemically treated. Um, but I've never actually seen a relaxed person use henna before, really. But, hmm. I don't know, guys! You see why I never want to use henna in the first place? It's just too confusing, okay? I don't know. In my head, okay? In my head, it's a natural treatment and it's basically going to just coat the hair and make it stronger and I already mixed the bloody thing, so... Oh, yo, yo. I mean, hair what? I'm a curious person, okay? And uh, right now, I don't see why it would pose a problem. But, eh, as I said, I'll let y'all know what I do, okay? I'll let you all know. <laughs> this is, this is gonna be interesting. I have a knot. Oh man. Anyways, that's really all I wanted to chat about. I have been spending way too long applying this clay to my hair. So, let me hurry this along and after I rinse it out, I will see how much it has actually stripped my hair because maybe I'm overthinking all this, maybe it doesn't even strip my hair all that much, maybe I don't need to even think about recoloring my hair every three weeks. Yeah, maybe I don't even need the henna. Let us first calm down, apply this clay wash, rinse it out and see what happens, okay? To the E to the K, na na na, K K. But if you see every time I do, I'm just in a tight way. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 She was wider, she my gypsy girl. She something to myself. She wants wider, she be money on my place. She looking on my eye harder. She wants wider, she be moving so quick. You never see her coming. She want to see Wanda. She had me hey, Yeah, not so uh. the she wanna see Wanda, one get high grade From a distance, baby, I'm going insane Red Cross, baby, come to my aid Shorty said he busted my brain like a migraine Your game, my game, your loss, my pain Slow down, the way you go down You know now, now me they run the whole town King of the city, cause I wear that gold crown So give it up for bad man, better than bad man I didn't impress these dogs and kill these cats, man Rats, man, these all the guys are rats, man When I get on stage, all they do is clap, man so make you join me in my Bugatti Join me in my Bugatti Only you in my Bugatti Only you in my Bugatti She my gypsy girl She something to myself She wants to find her She be money on my place She looking on my eye harder She wants to find her She be moving so quick Whew! Okay, wait I am cold on The color is still there. Wow. And it looks really nice. It still looks vibrant. Um, it's been about three weeks. Three weeks? 
I think it's about three weeks since I colored my hair. So with that in mind, the color is holding up pretty well. <laughs> and the mix that I used with mostly Russell Clay, not all Russell Clay, but mostly Russell Clay, seemed to have worked for my color. So that subscriber, I'm gonna assume you're a subscriber. Yeah. Thank you, sis. <laughs> I mean, the color has faded, but it has not been stripped. So, I'm really happy about that. And you can see how nice and defined and less frizzy my hair looks. I just love how my hair looks and feels after a clay wash. So, honestly, I never need to be worried after all. So, yeah, with these results, um, I'm wondering if I should still add the henna on top. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do I, do I need to? I probably don't need to, but I still want to experiment. And I mean, I don't know. Maybe since the color is still looking nice and vibrant, I will just wait until the next three weeks when I do my clay wash again. Because remember I said, I'll be using clay wash every three weeks. So yeah, I might decide to wait the next three weeks when I am going to do my clay wash again to touch up the color and then apply the henna because I'm pretty sure by three weeks time the color would have faded ah, more so I'll just keep my henna wrapped and I'll put it in the fridge I think it's supposed to be able to last three weeks correct me if I'm wrong anyway beauties y'all know this channel is we're experimenting we're trying a thing we are not claiming to be experts over here, okay? Okay, beauties, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. So if this one video has not convinced you to subscribe, I'll be sure to have some more of my videos linked up in the i cards so you can watch, get more familiar with my channel. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. And remember, I'm trying to get to a million subscribers by the end of the year. So if you enjoyed this video, share it, tag a friend, and yeah. Okay, beauties. Later! Mwah. Can you see how much my curls are popping? Guys, I'm even getting shrinkage. What sorcerer is this? So I am very curious to know now how much $50 did I save for the entire year of 2017? Let's bust this piggy open.